السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله كان نستعرض أول سيشن إن شاء الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم ارفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العلم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتع علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحن آمين وأجمعين اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص ووجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My first case for, for today is this patient. Any volunteer for this case? Any volunteer? Yes, it's a uh, frontal chest X-ray okay. for an adult patient, showing a, a loosened uh, right side okay. of the lung. Okay, of the lung. Okay, very good. Of the lung, with that, yeah, with the. Decreased vascular bronchovascular markings in comparison with the other side. Okay. The left Terrestrial. side is normal. Yes, it looks it looks normal. Okay, it looks normal. So, in the rest summary. Of the study, in yeah, and the rest of the study uh, is unremarkable. Is unremarkable. So, in summary, you have loosened right lung. Okay. What is the differential diagnosis of uh, loosened uh, lung or hematorax? Uh, the, uh, the, the top uh, differential, pneumothorax or... Pneumothorax, uh, uh, okay, one of the causes. Borland syndrome. Boland syndrome, okay. What is Boland? Boland, it's uh, the absence of the uh, victorious major muscle. Okay, then you can classify as the causes outside the outside the line, line. Yes. or inside the line, okay? Mm -hmm. Outside the lung, it is like Boland inside the lung, say Mahakati, no motorax, the other causes? Yes, yes. Yani, the emphysematic chains as polla, yani, giant polla, you know. Okay. Other causes? Unilateral mastectomy. Unilateral mastectomy, okay. These causes cause normal lung volume, but increased transradiancy. Okay. Okay. Other causes cause reduction in lung volume, but okay. with increased transradiancy. Like? Uh, like Swire James syndrome. Okay, what, you know what is Swire James syndrome? Yes, it is, inf it is infantile uh, uh, bronchiolitis. Yani, uh, Obliterance. Uh, okay. Obliterance, uh, mm -hmm. causing uh, a unilat uh, re normal or reduced in lung volume with increased uh, transradiancy due, due to air trapping. Okay, so for this patient, what is the next step? CT scan. Yes, scan. CT scan, okay. This is the CT scan of this patient. So it is unilateral mastectomy. Boland syndrome. Boland syndrome, okay. Boland? Yeah. Yeah, it's Boland. Yeah, you see, this is the breast here, okay? okay. And this is the victoralis major and minor, and there is only one muscle here, okay? 
And sometimes in uh, Bolan syndrome, you can have aplasia or small breast of the on the side on the same side. Huh? Yeah, there is abnormality in the breast and the same side. Yes. Okay. So this is Bolan syndrome. Okay, absence of uh, absence of pectoralis muscles. Okay, and you have also some uh, congenital. Uh, some congenital abnormalities in the rib here, okay? Okay, next case. Our next case, it is uh, this case, okay? What is the procedure? What is the findings? What is the diagnosis? and differential diagnosis. Mm. Uh, this is a coronal CT scan for the sinuses and orbit, uh, soft yeah. tissue window. Uh, showing uh, bulky uh, muscles, rectus muscles, mainly more pronounced at the medial and inferior recti. Uh, no, I can't appreciate any fat stranding or any significant fat stranding. That's it, yani. But bulkiness be the muscles of the surrounding the orbit. Okay, what does that mean? The differential, yani. Okay, like what? Thyroid of thermopathy, maybe. Thyroid of thermopathy, okay. The other differential? Mungkin orbital, so the tumor, but I don't think so. Yani. What is against orbital C2 tumor? Mungkin uh, stranding, maybe, I'm not sure. Bilateral. Involvement of the tendon. Bilateral, okay. Which muscle is involved? Is it more. So, more the severe muscle involvement here, which muscle is? Huh? Inferior. No. Inferior. 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 Inferior rectus. Okay, yes. this is the inferior rectus muscle. Uh, and they, they, I am slow. Inferior. 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 Baden, media rectus. Baden, superior rectus. But then lateral rectus oblique muscle, okay? And okay. this is the uh, this is the most common involvement, but then badha medial, superior, but then lateral. These are the uh, uh, in, in the differential diagnosis, it is uh, CD tumor, but CD tumor you will not be bilateral and symmetrical like this, okay? And it will not be bilateral and symmetrical, and that will not involve the uh, inferior muscle also. So this is the main differential. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, what uh, What is the if we is there any sign uh, with this uh, involvement of the muscle here? Is there any sign characteristic for uh, to differentiate from C2 tumor? The muscle is the thyroid of thermopathy. And the insertions with the orbital of the tumor. Okay, it's an involvement. Involvement. It, it is involvement of ash. Hakeet Marwatania. Hakeet Naya. Muscle. Muscle. Muscle belly is more with the thyroid of thermopathy. The insertions with okay. the orbital of the tumor. Okay. What we call this sign? Coca bottle sign. Coca bottle sign. Coca bottle sign. And this is the Coca bottle sign. It is involving, as you said, involving the belly of the muscle. The insertion are not involving and giving the appearance of the Coca bottle sign. This is another patient with bilateral oxyphthalmus, okay? And involving the medial here, medial lateral, medial rectus muscle. Uh, more on the right side, oh, and the inferior it is not in the 
the view. Okay. Any question on the thyroid of vitopathy? Any question on this? Okay. Okay, we transfer to the next case. The next case, what is this? What is the procedure? What is your finding? I'll describe the finding. And what is the diagnosis? Okay. Anyone, any volunteer? Any volunteer for this case? Any volunteer for this case? Okay, sir, can I talk? Yeah, you can. Okay, this is a single uh, view of retrograde cystoid retrogram. Okay. Uh, showing evidence of dilatation of the posterior urethra. Okay. With normal ventral urethra. I mean the dorsal urethra is dilated and the ventral urethra appear normal. Dorsal is the ventral urethra not visualized as well. And you see the okay. catheter. Okay. Only okay. you see okay. uh, this is a catheter. Okay. This is the catheter. Okay. Well, it is not filled. Okay. What okay. else? There is abnormal line or yeah, a membrane-like filling defect. Okay, membrane-like filling defect, okay. A, seen at the junction Where? of the urethra. Where? Here with the blood, with the... In the yeah, posterior the urethra? Side, Yes, in the posterior urethra. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You see the so posterior urethra is dilated. dilated. Okay. Grossly dilated. Oh, yes. It is grossly dilated. Feel the feeling defect here eh, around the catheter. What is that feeling defect? What do you think? <laughs> Looks like feeling defect, but it is normal. It's normal, uh, normal anatomy. What is that? You remember the yeah, anatomy of this? The vivium montanum, vivium montanum, okay. And also, what else you see in this picture? There is another finding other than dilated posterior urethra. What is about mm. the bladder? Possibly okay, dilated. it's a trabeculated, trabeculated uh, wall. It, it is a trabeculated wall and thick wall also. And, you see? and thick wall distended, yes. Yeah, and more distended because we distended that, okay? Yes. Why okay. we distend that, the bladder? And, and for the presence of reflex? Yeah. Okay, so this is a classic finding. Uh, it is a classic for, finding for? For posterior urethral valve, K-hole sign. For posterior Similar user. To K hole sign in the ultrasound. Even here, you see, yes. it looks like uh, here can uh, this this feeling defect looks like a key, huh? A keyhole, yes. huh? Yes, sir. Uh, even here, you can see it in ultrasound, you can see it in the cystoyothrogram, avoiding cystoyothrogram. You know how many types of posterior uh, urethral valve, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, I know that there is abnormal membrane. Or yeah, thickening. there is a abnormal like... membrane. This is the this is the pathology. Yes. Okay, this is the pathology. Okay, you have, uh, to my knowledge, three types. The most common type, this is the uh, membrane. It is extended from the virio montanum, as we see here to the antifuse anteriorly at the lower end of the posterior urethra. Probably this is the membrane, okay? In, in that area with the virio montanum. This is the type one. 
and we have type two and type three. I don't remember. You should remember that better than me, huh? Okay. Okay. Uh, and we should look for the, as we said, we should look for the reflux. There is no reflux with this patient. Okay. And uh, this study is complete or incomplete. We should draw the catheter out and see the anterior urethra. If there is any abnormalities in the anterior urethra, sometimes it is associated with congenital hypospadias, etc. Huh? We should uh, draw the catheter and see the abnormality of the uh, uh, visualization of the anterior urethra. Okay, any question on this? Okay, we can move to the next case. Okay, this is our next case. Same case. Can I talk, sir? Yeah, you can start. An axial section of contrast, uh, contrast enhanced CT scan uh, show at uh, the level of the kidneys show a filling defect in the uh, superior mesenteric vein. Uh, superior mesenteric uh, vein thrombosis. Superior mesenteric vein filling defect. Okay, uh, describe that filling defect. It is hypoattenuated, hyper hypoattenuated filling defect in the superior mesenteric vein. It is filling the whole vein. With expansion or not? of the mesenteric vein. It is filling the whole vein or not? Uh, cut section, axial section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Filling the yeah. whole. Yeah, it is filling the. Almost the whole. All, almost the whole. Okay, very good. Okay, fi ashi, fi shitani maaha. I can't see. So this is the classic filling defect involving the superior mesenteric vein, and there is the bowel. You should mention the bowel. Visualized portion of the bowel. It is a remarkable. Okay, you should mention yes. negative because negative finding in this case it is it's important. important. Okay. Spleen is a little bit large, okay. Spleen is a large, okay. Slightly expanding. Yeah. Okay. What are the causes of uh, filling, uh, filling defect? What is the diagnosis first? It is a thrombosis or embolus? It's a severe mesenteric vein thrombus. Severe mesenteric vein thrombus. Why not embolus? Also possible. Also possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is the causes? We can hypercoagulable state. We can like, uh, post operative. Like hypercoagulitis. Hypercoagulable state like what? Uh, yeah, I don't remember at the time. Okay. Drug treatment. The drug, the pregnancy, mm. uh, pregnancy, uh, antiphospholipid yeah. syndrome, yeah. dehydration, severe uh, dehydration. Yeah, okay, many causes, okay. Tumor, mm. okay. Tumor, thrombosis. Yeah. Mm. So this is the thrombosis of the... Uh, contraceptive. Contraceptive, mm. vasculitis, okay. A lot of causes. Okay, okay. sir. Okay, any, any question for this? Uh, what you are afraid of from this? Why we look at, why we said that is the bowel is a remarkable? Bowel ischemia is possible. Yeah, bowel ischemia, venous mesenteric bowel ischemia mm -hmm. is one of the causes associated mm -hmm. with mesenteric venous thrombosis, mm -hmm. okay? Very good. Okay, next case, 
سمبل كيس اوكي عفوا استاذ ممكن سؤال تفضلي شلون اقدر افرق بين الثرومبوس والامبولاس؟ امبولاس غالبا بيجي من الليفت فينتريكل نص ل يعني من الليفت سيركوليشن اوكي؟ غالبا اه اي نعم صح اوكي This this patient, this new case. Any any volunteer for this case? It is simple. إحنا المرضى سرقة فرجينا تشبه أخت تشبههم بس not the diagnosis. Okay. Okay. Ada fi sana talta baba. Yani sana tani hatta bi dan kan answer this also. Any question? Any any volunteer? أني فولنتير محمد عباس إذا بده يحكي فاتح الميكروفون تاعه أوكي ما بقدر ما في مشكلة أني وان أوكي سير كان أي توك أوكي يو كان توك Okay, this is MRI multiple axial section. MRI multiple axial section T2 show evidence of abnormal hyper signal intensity within the left temporal temporal occipital lobe involving uh, the, the cortical and subcortical white matter and associated with gyriform swelling and edema. There is effacement of the epsilateral uh, left lateral ventricle. Mild mass effect. Mild mass effect, okay. So what is the diagnosis differential, key differential or? And if there is other uh, section like diffusion ADC, I will correlate. Will I will correlate my finding? Uh, I will put left uh, left posterior cerebral artery infarction. Okay, both the differential or the mafishi. Um. There is no differential. This is the classic yes, okay. vascular yes, artery. It is the classic. Vascular artery infarction, posterior cerebral artery infarction. Okay. And sorry, احنا حكينا هذه تمام وفرجيناكم هاي الصورة and this is the this is the posterior cerebral artery here. Posterior cerebral artery here. This is the middle cerebral artery. And also this is the posterior cerebral artery tertiary. Infarction, and this is the classic for vascular artery infarction involving the posterior cerebral artery. Okay, few so many, not a few. Okay, hi, so but for another patient for the same diagnosis, what is the difference between the first one and the second one? This is the first one. You see, you see uh, the metas changes. This is acute. Okay. Uh, chronic onset. Uh, this is acute with the metas changes and in the sorry. And the second one, you see dilatation of the occipital horn, indicating that the infarction it is not acute or chronic. Okay. In the chronic stage, in the Territory of the posterior cerebral artery, okay? Okay.
the second image yeah there is a gliosis yeah this is a gliosis with uh, dilatation of the with the of the occipital hole no? on the right side okay and okay indicating a chronicity okay okay any question on this uh, classic vascular territory infarction so we can move to the second case okay we should not put this one okay no problem forget about the specimen here and describe the finding on the CT scan What we see, the finding, differential diagnosis, and the most likely diagnosis, because we give the specimen here. Okay. Anyone? Am Nanofel Mawjud or Lamish Mawjud? Am Nanofel? Aki Doctor? What body? Abdomen CT scan selected axial section showing large retro peritoneal fat containing lesion. Uh, which in the lower section showing is solid enhanced uh, component and uh, enhanced sifta. Okay, the lesion yeah. show uh, the lesion uh, the lesion show uh, uh, it's encasing uh, the uh, right kidney and pushing it anteriorly. Okay. Where's the region? In intraperitoneal or retroperitoneal? You think? I think it's retro retroperitoneal. It is retroperitoneal. Okay, very good. So, in summary, what you have? A large retroperitoneal uh, fat containing lesion. Fat containing lesion, okay. With enhanced uh, septa and solid component. And solid component. Pushing the kidney. Uh, pushing kidney anteriorly. And bowel. And the bowel uh, compress the bowel to the uh, right side, uh, to the left side. To the left side. Okay. What is your differential here? Liposarcoma, retroperitoneal liposarcoma. Retroperitoneal liposarcoma. So it is, this is a classic, by the way. This is you have fatty component, and the fat. The, you have silky with the fat and solid component. Okay and the location and the specimen here this is the fat with the uh, uh, solid component with it and this is a classic for retroperitoneal liposarcoma okay how to how to differentiate if there is no if there is no this solid component only we see the city we still call it libo, uh, retroperitoneal liposarcoma uh, in the liboma, there is usually no safety, okay? In the liboma itself, benign liboma, no safety, okay? No symptom in the, in the benign liboma. Once there is safety and enhancing, you should think with malignancy, okay? Okay. With obviously because here uh, the specimen uh, it is they said they said in the histopathology it is well differentiated uh, liposarcoma okay طبعا الشرح النظري عليها بتقرأ بالكتاب okay and this is the 
Vitro Bertonian mass. Why Vitro Bertonian? It is pushing the kidney anteriorly and pushing the, the some of the bowel on the left side and the mass it is sitting on the around the psoas muscle okay and it is pushing the fascia also here so this is the mass it is a retroperitoneal mass and pushing the little bit of blood vessels on the on that side of the IVC here on this area it is pushing a little bit to the left side. So retroperitoneal mass, retroperitoneal mass with fat component. This is the classic for, as you said, retroperitoneal liposarcoma. Any question? And after this is the specimen after the section of the mass. Okay. Any question? Okay, now our next case. Next case. Any volunteer for next case? Hello. Okay, sir, can I talk? Okay, can, you can talk. Okay, these are multiple grayscale image and Doppler at the level of the testicle showing well-defined sizable mass hypoechoic with mild posterior acoustic enhancement and the scattered vascularity within the lesion. Okay. 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 Uh, I will put uh, seminoma as the first uh, in my differential diagnosis because it's homogeneously hypoechoic. Okay, homogeneously hypoechoic. Hypoechoic and the scattered uh, vascularity within the lesion centrally and peripherally. Okay. Okay. This is one of the differential. The other differential ended. Danny. Um. Yani according to the history, maybe testicular hematoma. Testicular, testicular hematoma, either for history abscess, suggested. Either for okay. history. Testicular okay. abscess, but the abscess is what more is high. Again, what is for, again, wait, wait. What is against okay. testicular hematoma? Uh, the homogeneity and the presence of central vascularity. Of presence of central vascularity. Other differential diagnosis? Testicular abscess. Testicular abscess, okay, but usually the abscess it is will be ish. Uh, abscess, um, yeah, more heterogeneous, central, yeah, central, uh, an echo due to fluid and peripheral uh, vascularity. Okay, not central, okay. Yes. Okay, other differential? Other differential, if the age is more than 60 uh, and bilateral lesion, I will put lymphoma. Okay, lymphoma. What is against lymphoma? Usually multiple and bilateral with the age. I should with compare the with age. the age. Okay, with the age, multiple bilateral and the vascularity would not have too much vascularity like this. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. And infarction also one of the differential, okay. but against infarction also there is no the vascularity. vascularity. Okay. So what is the next step? And next step. Hmm. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, refer to the yeah, surgery for surgical removal. For surgical CT removal. cap for staging. Huh? CT cap for staging, maybe? Okay, CT cap. Okay, CT cap. Okay. Very good. Very good. CT cap for. Okay, we do the CT cap for this patient. Okay, you can continue, huh? Okay, okay. CT scan, post-contrast image, coronal and two axial image at the level of the kidney show evidence of retroperitoneal, uh, bilateral retroperitoneal, uh, hypodense, uh, 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 conglomerate lymph node. 
يعني ماتت توجذر اوكي ماس كود بي كود بي ليمفادينوباثي ميتاستاسيس فروم ذا تيستيكولر تيومر كود بي ليمفوما يس هاو تو ديفرنشيت يعني ذا سيم كيس يعني اي ويل بوت ذا ميتاستاسيس Okay, you put the metastasis, one of the differential. Yes, differential diagnosis from the seminoma. I there is the no correlation with... Tumor of the testis, where they metastasize? They Usually metastasis. to the left. Tumor metastasize to the... Left this side. Paraortic. Paraortic, okay. Yes. But this, the forward, now this left side. This is left testicle. Okay, this okay. is left testicle. Where the tumor okay. metastasis? Going to the left, to the bar bar to the left, left para aortic. Go, but left para aortic. Can go to the right side? Yes. Yeah, can go to the right side in about 15% of patients. Okay, so uh, with this, with this, and differential, yes, you said differential lymphoma, one of the differential, but with this also and the tumor marker, okay, we, we also correlate with the tumor marker. This is yes. metastatic uh, lymph node. Lymphadenopathy. The, the lymphadenopathy from malignant germ cell tumor, most likely seminoma, okay? Okay, any question? What do we call this sign? Hamburger sign. Elevation of the aorta from adjacent vertebral body. Okay. What is sandwich sign? Yes, I think it's the same, any <laughs> sandwich sign. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, next case. This is child, three years old. Okay, boy. The name did Barra, any volunteer for this case? Any volunteer? Okay. Any volunteer for this case? Can I talk here? You can. We're most welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, skull extra lateral view of uh, a mature skeleton uh, showing uh, the brushing of the nasal bridge. And it's widening in the uh, skull base, narrowing in the front. I will. Uh, I'm thinking about a chondroplasia. What about the suture? You see the suture or not? In this patient. This is three years old. Three years old. Yeah. This is. You see mm. the suture? Yes. Mm. Okay. You see the anterior container? Yes, the, uh, still there is uh, an opening in the anterior fontanelles. Okay, still opening, yeah. and the suture are wide. Masbut or la la? Suture are wide. Is okay. this is all a sign of uh, raising the cranial pressure? Wait, wait, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm. and yeah. what you see here? In that area. 
what we call this bones. Okay. You we see here one multiple one bones, fontanel, large fontanel. This is the anterior, and even the posterior is large. Mafi nasal sinuses, how the latter three years old, you should have at least the maxillary sinus, okay? Maxillary <laughs> and widening the suture, okay? في شيء بالك بغطي هاي الشغلات I'm I'm trying to remember something هاي بوبارا ثيروديزم هاي بوبارا ثيروديزم ما بتغطي كامل كل الشغلات هاي try show me 21 Okay, I will give you a hint, okay? Yes. Now, Biddak, Tutlob X-ray. What do you want to ask for? Belvis. Belvis, looking for what? For osteogenesis imperfecta. For osteogenesis imperfecta. طيب معنا معنا بلبس عنا تشست بنفع تشست اوكي اه بلبس اوكي اذا اذا عنا بلبس ات از اوكي بس بعطيك بعطيك بالبلبس بعطيك وايدنينج اوف بيوبك سينثيسس بغطيك الموجود عندك اه تقدر توصل للتشخيص دايجنوسيس No. Cleidocranium. No. Okay. You need chest. Okay. I, I will give you the chest X-ray of this patient. Yes. Oh. Cleidocranium. Cleidocranium. Uh, absence of uh, clavicle. Absence of the clavicle. Okay. Clavicle. Uh. So your diagnosis is cleidocranial dysostosis. Cleidocranial dysostosis. Okay. So you okay, have, so. what else you look for in the chest? Clavicle. Other than, we mentioned the clavicle, other than the clavicle. The almost vertical bone. We look for the vertebra, okay, in the body, uh, in the chest, thorax, okay, if, if there is any hemivertebra, and we look hemi for the ribs also, if there is any super numerary ribs, okay? We look okay, for sir. the ribs, okay? These are the some of the findings, okay? Okay, so you have large fontanelle, wormian bones, suture wide, okay? Absent or non-developed sinuses, parental bossing, and absent the clavicle and look for the ribs, any supernumerary ribs. And if you have the pelvis, look for the pubic symphysis if it is wide or not, and hypoplasia of the iliac bones and vertebral anomalies, hemivertebra, and also look for the absent uh, or short fibula radius. Etc. Huh? Okay. So okay, this sir. is a classic case of cleidocranial dysostosis. Okay. Any question on this? Afwan, stop. The next one is cilia torsica. Mushkil hai jay shape. Cilia torsica. It is here. It is. Uh, by the way. Uh, it is over. Uh, it is rotated patient. You see here. This is the anterior clonoid and the posterior clonoid. It is normal, normal cilia, but I, I don't think it is J shape. I don't know. Okay. It is in the written in the box. It is J shape uh, cilia. Ah. Huh? In this patient, in the cleidocranial dysostosis, it is a J shape cilia or not? 
I don't know. So I have. Mm, Shukran, sir. Mm. I don't know. And we check the book. I think I don't know. Yeah, so I have. Okay, we see this case, I think. Okay. Next case. Why you didn't buy it? Why you? The Sadani final, final board Arabi. طيب يلا جرب حظك في هاي. يقولوا بالبورد العربي بيجيبوا ما واي كثير ها. Okay, try this case, okay? Okay, sir. And Excel CT scan. Okay. At the level language soft tissue window, standard window. Show the soft tissue density. Posteriorly, the posterior mediastinum. شوف معي. أول إشي أول إشي رتب رتب الكلام تعب. هون عندك في سيتي سكان وفي إم آر آي. نقص أونلي سيتي سكان. سيتي سكان عند إم آر آي. أوكي أوكي. يعني أول رتب الكلام تعب. سيتي سكان عند إم آر آي. Selected image مثلا CT scan يحكي على CT scan وبعدين تحكي على MRI وبعدين تحكي differential diagnosis وإذا في عندك diagnosis تقدر تحطه it is okay نعم سعد تفضل Selected image of CT scan and MRI I think it's T1 fast suppression About the CT scan, there's a posterior mediastinal soft tissue mass encircling the aorta and the adjacent vertebral body erosion, slight erosion of the adjacent vertebral body. It is avoided or not avoided? Vertebral body? Slightly. بكي مريض هذا عنده ستوريوسز ما بينت كلها ها مايت بي سكشنال سير اوكي طلع على السي تي سكان طلع على ما اي ات از ستيل في 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 اروجن اوف ذا فيرتيبل بودي ولا ما فيش نوت اوبيس ذير از نو اوكي اوكي Mm. Okay, you have bara vertebral, it is better to call it bara vertebral soft tissue mass, okay? Yes. Okay, that mm. bara vertebral soft tissue mass, it is, uh, it is density taha, doesn't take density, okay? It is enhancing, non-enhancing, mm. okay? What are the other yes. associations? Either fee association, okay? That density of the mass yes, it is uh, is hypo attenuated, mazwood. It is bad density no, or sir. not? Yes. It is bad density or not? Fat density, sir. It is more than more than the fat density. Okay, يعني you see here the muscle here. It is the muscle. Mm. The muscle, تقريبا قريبا من المصل. ها. قريبا. نعم سير. يعني yes, sir. you see here. Mm. You see here, this is the fat, okay? This is the fat. It is more than the fat, okay? More than but the fat, higher than the fat. Ha higher than the fat. It is enhancing or not enhancing? M mildly enhancing. Yeah, fear weight enhancement, okay? Fear association? Mm -hmm. Articum, uh, vertebral spinal canal. For Ramine. Spinal canal, is, spinal, spinal canal, canal, it is large, okay? Spinal large. canal, it is yes. large. Spinal canal, it is large. 
Okay, three other uh, findings. Is there any soft tissue on the right chest wall? Yes, plural. No, it could be not a blue, it could be from the chest, okay? You see here. The mass, the, mass, the mass extends from the paraspinal region encasing the chest wall, associated with chest fall deformity. Associated. Seem to me scoliosis. Okay, there is scoliosis, okay, but there is also soft tissue density okay. extended to the chest, okay? To the chest wall. Yes. And there is also... And, a, and, and the intercostal space. Okay. So with okay with the spinal canal widening widening or enlargement, you think of what? Neurofibromatosis, neurofibromatosis. type one with the flexiform neurofibromatosis. Okay, okay. Uh, I give you the hand. It is it is uh, it is a spinal canal. Okay, with large mal mass high posteriorly. Mal posterior as continuous associated with the chest wall and some scoliosis. So, this is a neurofibromatosis with epilepsiform and neurofibroma. Okay, what is the difference between epilepsiform and neurofibroma with, and the neurofibroma? Is there any difference? Hmm? Why, yet? Blexiform could multiple and more than one lobulated. Arise from large nerves, Blexiform. Blexiform, it is uh, associated, uh, arising from the, all the layers of the nerve. Okay? Neurofibromatosis type. A neurofibroma arises from the sheath. Okay? This is the. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is the main differential, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there any question on this, uh, on this neurofibroma? Oh, sorry, epilepsiform and neurofibroma? In uh, sir, is there any target sign on T2 facet? Mafi target sign is only that mass it is high bar intense as you see here okay. it is encircling the encircling the aorta and it is uh, the, uh, and it is also extended to the chest wall okay Mafi any oh, and could be something in the in the spinal canal but it is not well seen here okay we should exclude the that's my fee. At least what we have here, the bar vertebral mass with just wall mass, okay? Any question on this? Okay. It's, it seems to be aggressive. Yeah, Blixiform, Blixiform, Neurofibroma, it is more aggressive than neurofibroma. Why? Because it has malignant potential. Okay? Missy in neurofibroma alone. It, it malignancy, malignant potential in the plexiform in neurofibroma is more than the in neurofibroma. Because it is diffuse, it is diffuse our other name, it is diffuse diffusing neurofibromas, okay? Okay. Okay, this is simple case. Uh, axial CT scan. Mm -hmm. At the level of the pelvis. Mm -hmm. Uh, showing uh, a large mass uh, from the left uh, iliac bone extended into the adjacent soft tissue with mm -hmm. the multiple flex of calcification, mm -hmm. uh, suggesting uh, aggressive lesion. Okay. Any more description about the matrix and the bioosteal reaction, if you can describe? 
sun ray, it's showing a sun ray periosteal reaction. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, soft tissue and uh, soft tissue mass. Extended into the adjacent mass soft tissue. Extended uh, anteriorly. Okay. Uh, involving the psoas muscle. Okay. Involving the psoas muscle and psoas and gluteal muscle posteriorly. And the gluteal muscle posteriorly. Okay. And the matrix, it is uh, uh, suggesting aggressive bone lesion with soft. So just like this in one, uh, see, should match with, with, with the silly. arcs and the flex. Uh -huh. Arcs and the flex of calcification. Yani, معنى آخر. Suggesting uh, chondrosarcoma. Why chondrosarcoma? If you put the sun rays appearance, why chondrosarcoma in the sun rays appearance? It is chondrosarcoma like this. Uh, uh, because the pattern of calcification uh, sun ray, uh, no sun ray suggests osteosarcoma sun ray suggests osteosarcoma okay and these uh, sun ray periosteal uh, reaction and the periosteal reaction osteosarcoma uh, suggests osteosarcoma okay and these are the matrix by the way my my feeling is who suggestive of uh, uh, broken arcs and circles of chondrosarcoma. Okay, my feeling. We see the calcified matrix here, and calcified. this is osteoid yeah, matrix. Yeah, this is osteoid uh, matrix, and this is the sun rays appearance of the osteosarcoma. So this is. It is unusual site by osteosarcoma because it is in the long bones rather than unusual. in the flat bones. So the contour of sarcoma it is more in the flat, the flat bones. bones. Yeah, but this is here maybe exception uh, yes. in the in the radiology. So this is uh, an osteosarcoma involving the left iliac bone. Iliac bone. Okay. Okay. Any question on this? Osteosarcoma. Okay, sir. What about a wing? A wing. That's a minty job as well. Can. Go ahead. Okay, regardless to the age, regardless to the age, uh, for the for, we can put in the differential diagnosis. Usually, a wing it is younger age. This is old age. Okay. There is no, yes. no, no in the books. It is to by model uh, age distribution. Yes, usually less than uh, fifteen. Yeah, yeah I mean, from from it, five, yeah, five it, to fifteen. Yeah. Mom can put the other differential diagnosis other than Ewing, rather uh, what we call it round cell tumor. Round cell tumor. Round cell, yes. Yeah. Around the tumor, it is included. One of the differential is Ewing. Other differential, multiple myeloma, uh, reticular cell sarcoma, and aggressive sometimes osteomyelitis and uh, others uh, and lymphoma. But if this is not typical of lymphoma because we have the uh, we have the osteoid matrix and we have the osteo reaction and the bone destruction we don't have the bone window but the bone bone destruction in the round cell tumor are permeative you know the permeative uh, destruction okay yes uh, but uh, it is uh, it is doesn't miss yes. huh? oh. okay sir thank you okay Okay, this case. Uh, chest X-ray. Yes. We need first the spot diagnosis, but then the uh, Congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia, Jawab Nakas. C cam, left side. Left. Okay, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, Jawab Sah. But Marcus, not completely, 100 You should put both the left side. Okay, you should put 
Buddhist type. Okay? Yes. Okay. What do you see here? Okay. Yes. A chest X-ray of an infant or a skeletal machine mm -hmm. uh, showing multiple air lucencies occupying uh, the left hemithorax. Mm -hmm. Uh, with no visualization of the diaphragm. The lucency extended from the left upper abdomen toward the chest. Okay. Uh, the patient had NG tube also. Okay, very good. And that NG tube uh, is? The diagnosis of uh, left congenital diaphragmatic hernia. NG tube, you should also put some comment on that NG tube because the NG tube, it is it is yes. uh, not in situ, not in the usual uh, not left in the usual, door. it is pushed to the right side, okay? And also the mediastinum pushed to the right side, the heart, yes. etc. okay? Is uh, pushed to the contralateral side. Okay. What about the right yes. lung? Mahaketi, she on the right lung. Uh, there is a mediastinal and cardiac shift to the right side. Okay, what about the right lung? White lung. White lung, uh, it is hypoblastic white lung, okay? Hypo because with the bodily hernia, usually yes. you have the hypoblastic white lung, okay? So this is a classic. The in uh, endotracheal tube, which is normal position. Okay, we uh, can Yes, it is normal position, but the trachea is pushed. Yeah, trachea it is pushed to the right side. Okay. So this is the bodilic hernia. Okay, any question on this? Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, we know that the hypoplastic lung the hypoplastic implant affecting the epsilateral side of the hernia. It does affect the contralateral side also? Can affect both sides, okay? Can affect both sides. But here it is almost white lung. White lung, it is from the mediastinum shift or from the hypoplastic. We cannot differentiate, huh? Unless we return surgically, we bear the hernia, uh -huh. the hernia and see, huh? Yes, yes, mm. yes, thanks. Okay, this is the, our uh, last case, okay. Send in case. Mm, anyone? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. sir. Okay. Can I tell? Okay, you can start. Okay, selected imaging CT scan, axial, and this and magnified at the level of the cellular torsica, sagittal magnified okay. uh, at the level of the cellular torsica, and contrast uh, study. There is a prominency of the CSF uh, density uh, at the supracellular uh, system with the non-visualization or nearly thin pituitary gland. Okay. Sorry, what about the voice? I don't hear anything. Okay, Sam'a Hassa. Hello. Hello. Uh, الو هسا في صوت احنا نسمعك بس آه. الدكتور يمكن الانترنت عنده ضعيف امم اوكي اوكي مرة ثانية عيدي نشوف فيري ويك الصوت كلش ضعيف الصوت عندي ولا عندكم؟ اوكي سير اي سجست ات از امتي سلة أول شيء حكيتي ذيس از نان كونتراست الدكتور في صوت بس يقطع شوي يقطع يس yes, سير it is non-contrast or contrast? 
أول إشي. Okay, selected image, a CT scan and con contrast of هسه كيف الصوت؟ بعدين يقطع دكتور بعدين يقطع اوكي اوكي وي تراي تو فينيش ذيس كيس اذا ما عرفناش هسه كيف الصوت كويس؟ احسن ولا بيقطع ها؟ اه اه اوكي سير اوكي شكرا امتي سله اوكي شكل النت ضعيف عندي صار اوكي وي تراي تو فينيش ذيس كيس اف وي كانت فينيش ات وي كان كونتينيو فور ذا نيكست تايم اوكي وي تراي اوكي اوكي كونتينيو اوكي اي سي ذيس از سي تي سكان اكزيال اند ساجيتال اف يو ار ذا ليفل اوف ذا سيل تورسيكي Uh, non contrast study uh, show widening of the CSF uh, spaces at the supracellular cistern and within the cilia. Okay, it is a large cilia filling. Yes, a large cilia. A large cilia, a large cilia filled with CSF density. Okay. It is a large cilia filled with CSF density, and this is the this is the infundibulum okay it is not it is not pushed and it is inside the csf density and uh, this i think this is contrast study because you see here the cavernous sinus it is enhancing okay you see here this is the cavernous sinus it is enhancing and here this is one of the sinus it is also enhanced okay okay sir so this is what you what is your diagnosis empty cell it is empty cell syndrome okay what is the what is the association what is associated with what empty cell can be normal variant lahalha can be a normal variant alone or can be associated with a pseudotumor cerebri pseudotumor cerebri okay that's good okay and uh, this is no need for any further evaluation okay you should tell in this patient small arachnoid here we have a small arachnoid system in the temporal region, okay? Shift two. 
This is a small arachnoid in the in the small arachnoid cyst in the in the white tumbler region. Okay. Okay, so this is a classic case of empty cell syndrome with uh, no clinical significance and sometimes it is associated with uh, idiopathic intracranial hypertension or pseudo-tumor cerebrite, okay? The most important of this, it is you see, you should see the infundibulum, it is it traversed the CSF density and not pushed or not push to one side or or it is but if there is bush on the one side it is mean there is it is secondary empty cell and we should exclude secondary empty cell any other question okay any question on this Any question? Okay, we can stop here. Inshallah, and show them Mawajai, Iram al Sinir, Inshallah. Inshallah, Iram al Sinir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, Inshallah, and show them Iram al Sinir. Oh,